What's up guys? How's it going? Welcome back to another Dark Souls 1 uh, lore through. I wonder if Domnall has any new armor. I'm not gonna check because I, uh, we're gonna come back to him anyway, so let's just continue on with it. Let's go into the catacombs this time. That's the, uh, Great Hollow right there, which we get into Ash Lake from. It's a great view of it. And I think that's New Londo down there. It's a little lighter up here. It's kind of interesting. So these um, these guys used to always infinitely spawn in the very, very first part of the game. And since it was so close to the beginning of the game, it uh, they took it out. They made it so that, because later, you know, they do respawn um, with necromancers, but um, they found that players were getting too frustrated, so they made these guys die, even though they were hard for, like, you know, the beginning players. I mean, I think they just intended it to be you know, an indication that you should come back later. Uh, let's just grab everything here, because there's a whole bunch of stuff, and uh, there's a whole bunch of enemies, so let us just grab everything and read it all at once. Okay, great. We kill those guys in one hit. We get the winged spear next to an extremely large grave. Maybe these are all the uh, undead that came before me. This is Viander, and that's what a uh, nice hit. That's the weapon that um, Sigmar uses. And finally, the binoculars. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that doesn't look like the part of New Londo that we were at. It's kind of a weird thing to have, like, four or five rounded barricades. I don't know. Um, buttresses or whatever. Okay. really glad to be fully leveled up coming into the catacombs because uh, I, uh, I certainly uh, I don't like the uh, <laughs> what don't I like? oh I forgot to level up I don't like, like, the necromancer mechanic. I don't like a lot of stuff, I guess. But what I mean is just that, like, you know, if you're just kind of walking around or whatever, this part is definitely tough unless you've gotten some equipment or you know it very well. So here's the necromancer. And you can see, even with my level up, weapon he takes two hits which is you know when you're first playing and you're trying to rush this area oops um might as well uh, put on my gold covetous so i can maybe get a skull lantern uh, let's open up the door <laughs>
Uh, for now, we can leave that unleveled up, unkindled. So yeah, all these guys would have kept coming back to life with that. Oh, I said we would read all the items. All right. Okay, so we found the Caduceus round shield. Round wooden shield crafted in Lordran, crafted by an ancient blue, uh, decorated with an old ancient blue Caduceus. The giant trees of Lordran are distant offspring of the great stone arch trees. So we read that before with, uh, I guess we must have read this specific one before. Um, and then we had um, this Vihander. Oh, we didn't read the Dark Hand. The Dark Wraith, incited by Koth, use the power of the Dark Soul to absorb humanity. An art shared by this weapon, which also acts as a special shield. The ancients particularly could sap the humanity of even a replete saint in the blink of an eye. Um, let us uh, equip that. It's kind of a cool weapon. So if you hold it like a shield, it kind of like, I don't know what it does. <laughs> it bends time and space. And then if you wanted to, oh, is that if you have it in your other hand? So yeah, you can use it to grab a, Oh, you can just punch with it otherwise, but yeah, you can use it to uh, grab humanity out of someone. If someone was there, I'd like death claw them. All right, not not over. <laughs> Okay, so I hand her. One of the gigantic straight great swords. As the name suggests, the Zweihander is held with two hands, but its wielder must be inhumanly strong. It is this great weight that sends foes flying when hit solidly. It's a great weapon. Again, I go small and fast, so for the most part, but when I do large weapons, strength base weapons, I tend to favor the uh, Spyhander or the uh, um, the Spyhander or the uh, Claymore. So these um, are statues here, and you can see on them a uh, face. Uh, in this case, this is a there's so there's some there's kind of lore about one of the bosses here. Uh, named Pinwheel, and I'm just going to kind of spoil it because I'm not going to probably get another chance to really look at some of these. So this is the this is the Mask of the Father image on these. And they don't attack you. Um, but there's different sculptures, and they have different I'm going to attempt to take this guy out here from here just because I think he runs away, but <laughs> lucky duck. Oh, he just stands there. There are some overpowered aspects to uh, ranged things in this game. In the later games, they certainly, you know, I don't think I can, no. That's fine, though. Uh, so yeah, so now that that guy's gone, I'm able to kill all these guys permanently. And you can tell that because you get their souls when you kill them. Um, I hate that move. Nice. Um... Yeah, so there's all these bridges that are turned sideways, which we have to kind of turn back right correctly. Uh, you know, you can abuse this level and kind of run different places, but... Um... Wow. 
Wow, that was like the longest wind up in the history of anything. Oh, I hate skeletons. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, these are the catacombs, and these are the resting places of some type of undead. Uh, and I can't see this one. This might be the... Well, that one's still Mask of the Father. Um... What the... Wow. That was aggressive. So yeah, a big kind of downside of this area is that there's like essentially a a trick to like a like a puzzle to the uh, where the uh, necromances are. Let's see. I don't think the Lucerne's gonna have any lore, but. It's a, it's like a halberd, yeah. Halberd with a large, hard beak-like protrusion inflicts test damage instead of thrusting like a spear. The wielder of those are aims to club the head with its hard. It's kind of an interesting weapon. It's like you get it in the right distance from the enemy, and it uh, and it does damage. Yeah, it's still father. Um, it makes it a really good boss weapon. Because, or, you know, a weapon for bosses because usually they're so big that um, they, it'll hit, like the distance essentially always works out. It'll always hit inside them. Um, this is kind of an interesting thing. There's a skeleton here. I kind of killed that skeleton next to it, but if I get rid of that, oh, and I killed that one, but there was a skeleton kind of hanging off of the statue. Makes me kind of think that these statues might have different meanings here. Yeah, so you can see here, this is not the Mask of the Father. This is the, I think that's the Mother. And this one attacks from another face out on the bottom, or in the, in the chest. Yeah, there is no such chest face here. And I think that's the Mask of the Child. Yeah. So the Mask of the Mother. Like, holding the child. And then the child is the one that stabs you. So yeah, there's the guy Pinwheel down here. And, you know, we'll... Hopefully we'll just read about him or whatever. So I don't have to just tell you, but... Um, yeah, he had a uh, a son and a, and a wife, and has a very very sad story associated with them. So yeah, once again, these are the ones that attack you. They're the mother with the son protruding from the chest. I think. Yeah, the necromancers are still here, so let's just... It's a shame. So yeah, pushing this moves that bridge down. I did want to show something. I'll just kill it again. Oh. So there's another one over on this side. Um, really, I'm going to die here. But yeah, there's a huge hole here. You can look in here and see the bonfire. The hidden bonfire, which you know we will get to later. But now the goal is to... F oh, that was the stupidest plan. Um, now the goal is to find the necromancer. Aha, uh -huh, I wonder what that is. <laughs> Just stand there for me. That's fine. So 
suppose I shouldn't <laughs> necessarily risk this on the bridge, but... Oh! Drop something! Skull lantern. Awesome. Um... Skull Lantern. Skull Lantern of the Catacombs Necromancer. Troops from his long beard locks. This lantern alights the Tomb of the Giants. Nito's light devouring domain of death also serves as a fire damage strike weapon. I did not know that, that it has fire damage. Um, okay, so what are we doing here? I always get lost in the catacombs, so that takes you down to an area like a shortcut, uh, or maybe not so shortcut. <sighs> There's another mech necromancer here. <laughs> um, and I believe that necromancer is not here. Ooh. guy always gets me. There it is. Okay, let's heal up real quick. I can now pull that. Okay. Very delicate. <laughs> um, so yeah, this, uh, I don't remember what this one does. So there's probably yeah there's that bridge there <laughs> I guess not all right uh, maybe we should go back I guess is what that was to get to that other bonfire but I like how you can hear the hammering of the anvil <laughs> right then. But... Vamos isn't hammering, he's in the other room. Oh, he was in the room. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I would say he busted through. I would skip this scene now. So he doesn't like us. What? what? Oh, and we got a scimitar from them. That's cool. Where did they come from? Um. Yeah, this is not a fun section without a bonfire. Hmm. Why is that an ember from New Nando? An Emily from New Londo. Large flame ender we got from Isolith, but he says it's from New Londo. Hmm. Yes, yes, very well. We'll get these old bones to work. I think he. I might have another ember. Then produce me. No. Okay, so obviously just a normal blacksmith. Oh, he does homeward bones. I have five, but titanite shard for cheap and nothing new in arrows. I'm here to smith, not to chit chat. I've told you, I'm here for the trade, not for the talk. Enough with your present. Okay. Um, what was that about? Yeah. Don't be coming around here. So, yeah, I mean, we'll give him more embers, but I'll probably just kill him later and then we can read his helm. Alright, we're gonna have to go back because I, I dropped down too prematurely there. And uh, we definitely should get the, the next bonfire just so that we can. Yeah, I 
don't. This area is really best served with a shield. <laughs> oh my god. I just had the I got the timing off. And that was it. I was done. I uh, should repair my weapon soon. Where's the... Oh, okay. Oh, I think it was just insane. Okay. It's nice having all these guys. Necromancer's cleared. Yeah, we should read the scimitar, although I'm not sure it's all that interesting. So yeah, here's the bridge that I was meaning to, whatever. Now if we come down here really early on, which I did not want to do, uh, patches would be up here and we could talk to him, but nothing real. I mean, I, give, I think he gives you an item here that he doesn't give you if you talk to him only in the later. So, uh, but I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, we might as well uh, actually. When I get it to any amenities. Hmm. Alright. And we should level up while we're here. That was the other reason I wanted to. Because I'm. <sighs> I feel like I'm just gonna go down here and die with these stupid bone wheels. Um, and we're just gonna pump. We're just pumping our <laughs> health at this point, because I mean, why not? Alright. And let's go over here. And uh, there's a. Uh, an item in this area that we gotta get, and uh, uh, yeah, this is where I thought I was earlier. Oh, I saw it at the last second. Good they don't do too much damage. Alright, let's just try to. is here. Uh, can't see anything. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's where he's gonna have to strap down here. Is there nothing up on these ledges? Really? Okay. Oh my god. Like. Alright. Alright, thank gosh. I guess we're just going up here. This is what I want to get. There's that. <laughs> There's that uh, statue, and we got the Dark Moon Sands Ring, which we'll obviously look at once we're not being inundated with 
think maybe the necromancer's up here then. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, I think you can you can shoot it. Yeah, I just wasn't looking right. Okay. Alright, and then this is yeah, Mask of the Father. Alright. <laughs> Let's read the scimitar, which we're getting a lot of. Oh, and that's how you get out. Or you get to the other area. There's a miracle up there, I believe. But let's read this real quick. Okay, so what do we get? We got the scimitar. A bunch of those. Small curved sword. Each hit inflicts little damage, but fluid chain are deadly. Scimitar's sharp slashing attacks were effective against cloth and flesh, but not against metal. Well, I have cloth on, so that's, you know. And we got the Dark Moon Seance Ring. This ring is granted to adherents of Gwendolyn, Dark Moon deity, last born of Gwyn, Lord of Sunlight. Last born. Grants additional magic attunement slots. The Dark Sun Gwendolyn is the only remaining deity in Anorlando. His followers are few, but their tasks are of vital importance. There it is. If it hadn't been hammered home already, he is the only remaining deity in Anorlando. Guinevere is not there. If Ornstein is a knight, he might not be there. Or if he's a god, he might not be there. Although he might not be a, he might not be a deity. Um, but yeah, we have this, uh, once again, we have uh, the woman with the child with the straight sword. Which, you know, I think is Gw Gwyn as a baby and his mother. Uh, I guess which would make sense. That's probably the tomb of someone who was part of the Dark Moon Covenant. Which now we can check out. And will. Okay. This is the father. That's the mother, though. And there is Tranquil Walk of Peace is up here. Nice. So this is what the stone giants were casting in the forest. Outland Miracle. Foreign to the Way of Light. Again, we have, that's another one. We have Emit Force and this. Slows all walking with area and effect, within area of effect area. <laughs> this miracle is normally used to flee as it slows walking but does not affect attacks, but nevertheless defines peace perfectly. I do like how this drops you down here. Uh, but at this point, I believe we can just fall down. Oh my god. Because we finally did that. So we can uh, load in everything at the last second. I think these guys are going to get to me. Nope, rest. Alright. Now, let's go down and take care of the stupid pin skeleton wheels uh, we want to get the great scythe of course that's a weird texture um, the great scythe it's a great weapon Oh, we also got the uh, wing spear that we never read. Yeah, it's basic though. Um, as per did I miss it just now? 
Oh, that's a scythe. Great scythe. Open with long cur curved blade, converted from a wheat harvesting tool. The magnificent sharp blade instills fear in the opponents. And yeah, it scales with dax well, and it has got bleed on it, but so does my, so does my Uchi. So it's probably similarly awesome. All right, <laughs> bye. Yeah, they just biffed it. And one more, there we go. Okay. So there's no real great way to do this. Um, I just try to lure these guys in here. God. I mean, it's not even worth explaining for those who haven't played the game, but these just, like, kill you. Um, I will not be grabbing this set up here, because that's just the starting set of the game, not a lot of lore. There's a Dark Knight up there. I'm just so nervous. Okay. Great. Okay, he's coming. Okay. Where's my durability at, by the way? 39. I can repair here. I can repair here. What's that? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. I think there's only one more skeleton guy. Skeleton wheel. Is that him? Is there more than one? Is this guy over here? Oh god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like so freaked out by these guys. It's this and the painting of Ariamis, which just fucks me up. Okay. There's one more over here. Okay, no, that came out. Okay. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, that's just the starting enemy. You have to, like, jump down from over up there, but, um, I don't think it's worth getting. Okay. Does this guy come down at all? Yes, he does. Oh, please don't. Please don't die. This is a hard one too. I'm, you know, I don't fight the axe nearly as much. Can he not fall down? Okay, good. Okay, I'm just gonna backstab him. No sense playing with fate here. Oh my god! <laughs> and I got the Black Knight Great X. I think we saw these are not really good for lore, but uh, might as well read it. I think they all say the same thing. Great Axe of the Knights who wander Lordran used to face Chaos Demons, but yeah. Just the exact same thing for everything. Alright, well, let's go up here. Play with these guys. So I guess this guy's always supposed to drop a Skull Lantern. And so if you haven't been able to get one up until now, that's where you would get it. The literal last possible place. Or, you know, pretty much just when you're right in the, the giant tomb. Okay, there's some guys over here. 
which of course don't ruin the floor, but if I stepped on it, I would. So, again, it's kind of weird. <laughs> what? All right, so yeah, it's just the floor, two different places to fall, which fall on the Black Knight, but we uh, killed him, but there's a soul up here. Um, and I believe that's it. Oh yeah, never mind. There's more up here. Uh, I believe this guy's easy. I'm not. I can't remember. Okay. Come on, turn. He's fine. Okay. So, um, yeah, here is the, uh, so here we can pick up the Eye of Death, three of them. And that's a covenant item. Did I miss it really? There. Lure phantoms from other worlds. The dreadful eyes of death spread disaster across neighboring worlds. Phantoms lured to the host world may end up as victims, allowing the eyes of death, death to multiply and leading to further proliferation of bane. Yeah, it's kind of a cool covenant item. Um, and the covenant can be joined this way, which you can't do once you beat Nito. So, and I think you get the miracles that he uses um, by joining. So I think we can read a little bit about Nito from, um, from joining here. And I really hope it doesn't respawn everything. It takes forever to. This is another really unique thing for Dark Soul, for um, for a boss um, type thing. So, yeah, you go to sleep and come awake here, and you're basically in the boss room. I guess they tried to do this in Dark Souls Three um, a little bit, or exactly. Um, but yeah, it's crazy because, like, I mean, this is the boss arena for Nito, and so we come in through here, up there, I guess that's where our coffin is, and then <laughs> this is Nito, right here. Like, I don't know why he's cool with us here, and then later he's not, but, um, uh, Let's enter this covenant, I mean, why not? Yep, so we get the Gravelord Sword and the Gravelord Sword Dance. And if we have Off of the Eyes of Death, we get another miracle, but uh, we're not gonna go to that length. Uh, so let's look at the miracle, Gravelord Sword Dance. So it's a miracle, so that's interesting. Miracle known only by the servants of the first dead, Gravelord Nito. Giant Gravelord swords jut out in vicinity. Now this is what he does to you, so um, we'll see this attack used on us. Nito sleeps deep within the giant catacombs, quietly overseeing all death and waiting for his servants to usher in the Eye of Death. Um, and then we have the... Gravelord sword. Sword wielded only by servants of Gra Gravelord Nito, the first of the dead, crafted from the bones of the fallen. The miasma of death exudes from the sword, a veritable toxin to any living being. Yeah, 
unfortunately. These are probably not the way these these animations work, and I'm not doing them justice. They probably just have a generic can't handle animation, so for all I know, it's completely different. Might be something to look at for a new game plus. Alright, well, let us go back and hope that the <laughs> skele bone skeletons aren't dead. Or are dead. Uh, that would just annoy me. And let's go kill Pinwheel. And learn about Pinwheel and his terrible plight. His curse. Really good that someone, you know, at least opened the coffin for us. Okay. Well, um, so that's back where we came. And I do want to go back there. I just want to check for items. Can't remember. And I do want to see, like, what's over here. Yeah, I think this is how you easily get the... Yeah, looks like everything's dead. Um, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll get, I'll, I'll get this stuff and I'll summon the summon for this boss fight. Paladin Leroy, who we'll fight later. Um, yeah, this is kind of hard to get. I often fall off. Uh, Priest's Hat, Holy Robe Traveling. Yeah, so I think this is just the, uh, in the mace. Let's at least read it. But I think this is starting item, but at least it's, it might be interesting because it's Priest Hat. Yeah, Wave Light, Wave Light, Priest, and Thurland. It is simply meant to show their position within the hierarchy. It holds almost no meaning in the land of Florida. Robe donned by Men of the Cloth. Though plain to the eye, it's hardly its hardy fabric repels rain and keeps the body warm. Those dissatisfied with church teachings much must test their faith by going on a spiritual journey, such as the ritual self purification of the way of white. Look at me. Thick sturdy gloves made for travelers on extended journeys. Wow. Whenever I'm so sure about something, I am so wrong. It's just the theme of the playthrough. Alright, so let's look at the uh, mace. Iron Hammer with the Producer Pommel. The simple playlist strike open is effective against most foes. Alright. Let's go. I'm glad that everything's dead, and I'm glad that Paladin Leroy is. Oh, I forgot to get that item. Sorry, Leroy, we're gonna have to... Where is Paladin Leroy? Okay, yeah, you're just, you're like, why are we going into the boss? Just in time, Leroy. He's trying to pull Leroy Jenkins right now. Yeah, everyone's dead, this is great. I think this is just a soul, but I mean, you know, if you can see it, it's like, why, why wouldn't you just go grab it? Proud night. Let's do it. Alright, Leroy. Don't worry, I'm coming. <laughs> what if he used the black separation crystal and just left my world? He's like, screw this guy. Did you try to follow me? I really hope you didn't. There you are. Yeah, he's got a huge, big... Uh, Big uh, mace, and he has this real cool uh, shield. We get both of those, and we'll get his armor and stuff. Learn more about Leroy. Leroy is very interesting. He is associated with the Way of White, and he uh, 
he is kind of sacrificed for them. So, yeah, I will read all about him later. So, keep an eye on... So, the key things you're going to want to notice in this fight here are the guy that we're fighting. I'm going to try to get a good shot of him. He's kind of in this big row, but he's really, like, weirdly shaped. Um, and he also duplicates himself a lot. That's what we're going to keep an eye on for. Um, he's also in an extremely large coffin. <laughs> like, the size of not just the giants that we fight, but, like, of, like, an immense giant. So yeah, maybe we can see his form real well here in this cinematic. So he's kind of, he's like a necromancer. And um, yeah, you can see he's got six hands. And he wears three masks, the father, the son, and the, and the mother. And yet he duplicates himself with the magic. He's considered to be like very much of a pushover um, boss. Oh, cool. He has a. Uh, we got the right of kindling for one thing, and he just used Wrath of the Gods. And he drops an item. We got Mask of the Child. Um, so let's see what we can learn about Pinwheel. We got the Rite of Kindling. Let's at least look at that. This secret ray allows bonfires to be bolstered further with kindling so that even more Estus can be collected. Kindling was a sacred rite passed down among clerics, but all undead can imitate the process in the same manner that they restore their hollowing with humanity. How peculiar that humans had found little use for humanity until they turned undead. Right, well said. Um, we'll probably have to learn a little bit more about Pitwheel once we can get patches out of the 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 tomb of the giants but let's see what the mask of the child says one of the three masks of the pinwheel the necromancer who stole the power of the grave lord and reigns over the catacombs this mask belonging to the naive child slightly raises stamina recovery speed so yeah i mean he's a necromancer we can see here that he's working on a body on a table he has tons of books around he has you know tons of bodies you know skeletons strung up all around here he's definitely trying to achieve something and he's doing that uh and the thing that he you know his key move that he does is he duplicates himself into different things and it's important that he has six arms Instead of just explaining it like I usually do, I'm just going to wait until we get to the appropriate moment in the where they explain it, and then uh, and then we can talk about it. Okay, so now we're gonna use the sunlight maggot. Oops, we want to actually equip it. <laughs> Not the mask of the joke. There you go. It emits a sound. I wonder if that's what the sound of the guy, the sealer in, in Orlando, was making. Or something similar. They do have these prism stones that they line on the ground to light your way, but I mean, it's obviously much easier to. Uh, Tomb of the Giants. 
and you can see there's these guys which look giant but then there's these heads which are much bigger but they're still not as big as whatever that uh, tomb suggested Uh, key thing to note here that we can see Isolith. Oh yeah, so that's the area where we walk down and all the lesser Taurus tar demons are there. So we should be able to see, well it's so dark up here I guess you can't really see anything. Um, is that something I can fall down on? I don't know if this is just something we get somewhere else. Yeah, so this is actually an area that we get to later. Um, I never come down and grab this. So let's try. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Suppose on a playthrough, um, Murakumo, nice. Playthrough where I'm trying to show things off, I shouldn't do things out of order that I've never done them in. Giant curved sword forged using methods of an eastern land. This unparalleled weapon cuts like a katana, but is heavier than a nada machete. Requires extreme strength, dexterity, and stamina to wield. Um, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I just want to go this way. I was like, I do not want to go into that. There's the bonfire. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to hit the bonfire here. We're not, we're not doing anything here. We're just trying to get in here. And, uh... And then we'll just do the rest in the next episode. Kindle for good luck. And let's level up. Uh, yeah. Cool. Well, yeah, here we are in the Tomb of the Giants. Uh, um, looking over Isolith. Oh, that's a weird build. Um, yep, looking over the demon ruins and Isolith, and signing off. Have a good one.